Mike and Mara, today we are here to join you in marriage. Do you When I first met Mara, um, she was probably one of the quietest, shyest people I've ever met until I heard the story about how they met. One January night, we decided to go out to Chicken Bones in Morgantown, so we searched around for an open table, and there wasn't any in sight. I never knew that I could love someone the way that I love. Our friend Jackie was very outgoing, so she says, let's sit here at this big table with these guys. So we sat down at this half full table with this group of guys, and there was Mike at that table. Mark was immediately smitten with him. <laughs> and at the end of the night, we slid Mike a napkin with Mara's name and number. And in my opinion, I think that was the night this Yankee started to fall for this West Virginia girl. <laughs> Mike, would you look into Mara's eyes and into her heart and repeat after me? I take you to be my best friend. I take you to be my best friend. My faithful partner. My faithful partner. And my one true love. My one true love. I promise to encourage you and to inspire you. I promise to encourage you and inspire you. And to love you truly. And to love you truly. In good times and bad. In good times and in bad. I will forever be there to laugh with you. I'll forever be there to laugh with you. Lift you up when you are down. Lift you up when you are down. And to love you unconditionally. And to love you unconditionally. Through all of our adventures in life together. All of our adventures in life together. In accordance with the laws of West Virginia, I do pronounce you husband and wife. Mike proposed tomorrow on that same napkin from Chicken Bones. Y'all wouldn't be here tonight if we wouldn't have forced her to do that and pass the napkin. <laughs>